Snow Day by Patricia Lakin and pictures by Scott Nash. Look, said Sam. Where, said Pam. Outside, said Will. Why, said Jill. Something's going on out there. Snow, said Sam, Pam, Will, and Jill. Long undies, said Sam. Boots, said Pam. Mittens, said Will. Scarves, said Joe. Sleds, said Sam, Pam, Will, and Jill. So they're all ready to go outside with their sleds. We forgot, said Sam. What, said Pam. Our helmets, said Will. Our goggles, said Jill. Ready, said Sam, Pam, Will, and Jill. So now they've got their helmets and their goggles on. Mitts, boots, scarves. The yard, said Sam. The drive, said Will. The walk, said Pam. The hill, said Jill. Yes, said Sam, Pam, Will, and Jill. So I think they want to go on all of them. They want to go on the yard, the walk, the drive, and the hill. Stop, said Sam. What for, said Pam. What now, said Will. What's up, said Jill. School, sighed Sam, Pam, Will, and Jill. School, said Sam. We can fix it, said Sam. If we scram, said Pam. Let's hurry, said Will. Let's go, said Jill. Now, said Sam, Pam, Will, and Jill. They drew, they threw down their sleds. They ran inside. They took off their mittens, they took off their boots, they took off their goggles, they took off their helmets, they took off their scarves. So here's each of them getting all undressed. They ran to their phones, they phoned in the news. This is Principal Sam, said Sam. Sam. This is Principal Pam, said Pam. This is Principal Will, said Will. This is Principal Jill, said Jill. Snow day today, they all said. There they are on the news, saying that it's a snow day. All schools are closed, said the news. Sam, Pam, Will, and Jill smiled. So they closed the schools. They put on their scarves. They put on their helmets. They put on their goggles. They put on their boots. They put on their mittens. They ran outside. So now they're back where they started. They picked up their sleds, they ran up the hill. So look at all the people out on the hill now, because it's a snow day. Whee! sang Pam, Sam, Pam, Will, and Jill. And they sledded and sledded all day. All right. So the craft that we're going to do is a little crocodile. So you can make four of them. You can make Sam, Pam, Will, and Jill. So I've made one here as an example. And to start, we need a piece of cardboard. So you need to find a piece of cardboard at your house that you can recycle. And you need to cut a long oval piece out and then fold it in half. So what I did was I folded mine in half and I drew the line that I wanted. And then I used my scissors and I tried to cut through both sections at once so that I could get the sides exactly the same and you need to be able to fold them. So it can't be so thick that you can't fold it. So then the next part that I did was I took a piece of green construction paper and I traced my piece of cardboard. So that's what I have there, if you can see that line. And I'm going to cut that out, so that should fit perfectly on my piece of cardboard. So now I'm going to attach that on to my cardboard. So fit it on there how you traced it. And so I'm going to put some glue on the back of my 
cardboard. And I'm just going to move my piece of construction paper around in there a little bit to mix my glue around. And then I'm going to attach that cardboard. So now you've got one side is your cardboard side, the other side is your green side. It's going to look like your crocodile. So I'm going to let that dry for a few minutes. And one of the next parts that I'm going to do is make the eyes for my crocodile. So I just used a piece of my construction paper and you can just eyeball this. You want to have it a little bit narrower than the size of your crocodile body. And then I'm going to fold a piece up. So I originally had like a little square and I'm folding a section of it up like that. And then that piece I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to shape into two ovals which are going to become the eyes of my crocodile. So then I'm going to attach that onto the front of my or what I'm going to consider the top of my crocodile. So there we are so far. So you can see his eyes sticking up. If you want bigger eyes, you can cut a bigger sections. So then the next thing that I have on there is my teeth. So I'm just going to use a piece of white paper. I'm going to fold it in half. So it's just a piece of scrap white paper folded in half. And then I'm going to go along with my scissors and just cut triangle shapes along my folded edge. So this is what I'm left with when I'm done is two pieces of paper with triangle shape on them and then I'm going to fit them around the front of his mouth. So I'm going to add some glue around the front of his, it's going to be the opening of his mouth. And I'm going to press those on. And then I'm going to do the same on the bottom. So we're fitting him for some teeth here. And you might need to take some time to let all your parts dry with your glue in order for this to come together good. But for the video, I'm just going to carry on and continue showing you the steps. Okay, so that's what we have so far. We have his eyes, his teeth. We've made his body with the fold. So I'm just gonna let that dry for a minute. And I'm gonna use my example to show you. The next step that I did was I glued some coins in there. Now, you can use bottle caps if you have them or metal bottle caps, even plastic ones make a sound. But what the purpose is, is for you to glue something in there so that when you tap, you can make it sound like he's snapping. So my thought was that I could use these quarters and then when I'm done, I'm just gonna wash them in warm water and wash all the glue off and get them apart. So I'm just going to take my quarter and I put my tacky glue on there and glue them together. Now, if you're using just regular white glue or stick glue, you're going to have to let it dry for quite a while before it's going to stay together. The tacky glue sticks together a little quicker. So you've got two together, and the reason that there's two is because I found that if I just put one on each side, they weren't thick enough to tap when I was done. So I have glued those together. So here's two that I have that are dry, and I'm going to put some glue on the other side of his mouth and I'm going to put my coins there so then you will let those coins dry with your glue 
And if you find that they're not tapping enough, then you can add a third one as well. And when you're done, you can use those and you can make four of them and you can make Sam, Pam, Will and Jill and they're like snapping crocodiles. So there's our finished crocodile.